Where are my soul sisters? Let me hear y'all flow, sister. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your sister, Yunyan in the house today, and I'm so happy to see you guys. It seems like it's been a while since we've seen each other, huh? Uh, I think it's been about a week or so, but I just wanted to, uh, before I begin the video, I wanted to tell everyone that I'm okay, that my family is okay, and most importantly, I wanted to ask you guys if you guys are staying safe, um, if your families or if your loved ones are safe as well, and especially through this very difficult time uh, for all of us, uh, I am trying to find that silver lining or I'm trying to find little uh, things that I can be grateful for. And one thing that I am so grateful for is that we are having more time to spend at home, um, to look back into our lives, uh, to um, have some time of self-love and self-care. So I feel like um, this category of skincare product, I've never really used a lot in my life, but these days I've been using facial oils a lot. So today I'm going to be introducing you to five of my favorite facial oils and some of the ways that I use them um, to maximize their effect. So let's get started. So first things first, a lot of people have misconceptions about oils and I feel you guys because I felt the same way. I used to think that because I have acne prone skin, I could not use oils. Um, I used to think that I could only use oils during the winter time when my skin was extremely dry or I thought that if you have oily skin, you should never use oils. And there's so many other misconceptions that we do have about oils. However, this is not the case. There are so many selection of high quality oils out in the market these days for different skin types with different skin concerns. You can easily find the right oil that fits your skin um, all year round, not just for the winter time, okay? And face oils are amazing because they act as an emollient by sealing and preventing any water loss. So that doesn't mean that acne prone skin types cannot use them. They're actually really good acne fighting oils out there and for oily skin types as well, if your skin is like stripped of the natural oils that you need on your skin, it will send the wrong message to your brain saying, we need to produce more oils. We need more oils. So it will go into this overproduction of sebum and cause more sebum to build up in your skin. So actually using the right oil can help replenish your skin's natural oils, which can keep a really good oil balance to prevent further oiliness or breakouts. But not all oils. There are specific oils recommended for each skin type. So if you guys are curious to find out, I'm gonna leave them in the description below. I'm still actually testing out a lot of different oils and researching more about what's good for different skin types. So hopefully that can be helpful for you guys. All right guys, so the very first product that I wanna talk about today is from Keep Cool. This is the Keep Cool Ocean Deep Blue Oil. And on Yes Style, this is for $27.46. And also when you guys visit Korea or if you guys live in Korea, you can check out this oil at Lopes offline. And actually, when this product first launched, it was chosen as the best new arrival for the month um, on our Korean beauty app called Glowpick. This is vegan friendly and it has 100% of plant derived natural oils. And this is 25 milliliters. And if you check it out right here, it says that it does contain jojoba oil. And jojoba oil is highly recommended because it has the most similar structure as our body oil. So jojoba oil is recommended for all skin types and especially for oily skin types because it has the most similar structure with our natural sebum on our skin. The blue color of the oil comes comes from a complex of turmeric and another ingredient which is great for skin barrier and um, it also has eggplant fruit extracts which is well known for its soothing effects and for helping to prevent breakouts by controlling sebum at the same time. It feels really nice on the skin when you first put it on because it soaks into your skin really well without leaving any of greasiness nor clogging of your pores. From the brand, it's recommended for all skin types to use including oily skin types and I personally really like how it left my skin a little bit slight dewy without the like too much of that heavy oiliness. 
And another great way you can use this oil is to make a DIY oil mist. And before I share this tip with you guys, I wanted to make sure that it was safe. DIY tips are amazing, but sometimes because of the ingredients clashing or because of the pH level of something when used together, it might not really work well. So I wanted to double check. So I made sure with the brand that mixing this oil with uh, the Keep Cools toner works really well to make a uh, DIY oil mist and it is so simple to make all you have to do is get an empty mist bottle Make sure you clean it make sure you disinfect it before actually doing this tip and then add your favorite toner first That has a very watery texture that can be used as a mist and Afterwards add in the oil together and that's it I wanted to recommend 9 to 1 ratio 9 being the toner and 1 being the oil for a more lighter fresh texture for the upcoming of warmer weather or 8 to 2 ratio Ratio, eight being the toner and two being the oil for dry skin types or if you want a more of the heavy oil content so before you use it make sure that you do mix well together and then just mist away and that's it it smells really nice because the oil has this kind of herbal scent so the smell itself is really good the next one is Rovectin skin essentials barrier repair oil and this is $26.90 at yes Style. it's a really good good high quality oil that I absolutely love you guys know that I love this a lot because I've mentioned this I've used this a lot in my videos and the number one reason why I really love this oil is because I've seen such great results with skin barrier when my skin feels really sensitive or sensitized and when I feel like my skin is like kind of thinned out or like it's I feel the thinning of the skin I just feel like my skin is not in a great healthy um, state this is definitely something that I start adding back into my routine I love how strong it makes my skin feel I feel like after I start adding this to my routine after about seven to ten days my skin feels so much better and this oil feels really light it soaks in really fast into your skin compared to other oils that I've tried out in the market and some of the main ingredients here are neroli oil squalane which are naturally occurring lipids uh, that hydrates your skin and it has a really good antioxidant um, tocopherol which is uh, vitamin E to prevent the skin from aging and with this one I love using a few drops after my cream step uh, for the night or for the day routine and I love adding it into my cream or sleeping masks as well and another tip that I wanted to give you another way to maximize the effect of using your oil is actually a oil roller oil rollers are so easy to work with and I feel like you can use it in so many different ways for this one, I actually used a different oil because uh, you do want to use something that is a little bit lighter because you're gonna use it on your lips or you wanna use it on your like cuticles or different areas um, of your body. You can use something that is a little bit heavier as well. Personally for me, I just like a more fresh, lighter textured oil for me to put on other parts of my body. And this one, I use the Robecta Skin Essentials Barrier Repair Malta Oil. And one other reason why I use this one is because this is a little bit more affordable compared to this one I felt less guilty about like using it you know on my hair using it in my cuticles and using it on my lips and other body parts so anyways this is really easy to make but it is so effective and especially if you do have dry body parts or if your skin gets dry easily I think this is something that comes in handy all you have to do is get an empty bottle of oil roller make sure to disinfect this as well before you use it and and put in any oil of your choice and afterwards use it on your dry cuticles dry lips or even your hair so the last three products that I got is actually from the site called look fantastic and it has so many products and brands that I've been wanting to try so bad that is really not easily found in Korea or that doesn't ship easily to Korea I couldn't really find a website that has so many different brands like that that ships to Korea so if you are in Korea Korea at the moment please check out the site I will leave it in the description below and it also has so many different makeup brands as well that um, you'll love I personally wanted to try the ordinary products for the longest time so very soon I think I'm gonna be getting the ordinary um, products from look fantastic if you guys have any like products you want me to review from the ordinary please leave it in the comments below all right guys so we're going to be talking about the third oil of my choice and this is the most expensive 
oil from the fav, okay? So this is like triple or uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Quadruple the price of some of the oil. So this was 81,900 won, which is probably like, uh, I would say maybe $70 or so, $70 around there. And I think in English it's just pronounced kodali or kodali, right? But in Korea we say kodali. <laughs> so I'm gonna say it like right in between. But anyways, this is a French brand that is uh, very luxurious. So it is more on the kind of, expensive or high-end side it has a lot of luxurious products but at the same time it's really well known to have effective products as well and it does contain a lot of like patent ingredients from grapeseed and other ingredients and it's really well known for that um, when I imagine Godali the first thing that I imagine is their um, mists their mists are so amazing I really really loved it I think the first time that I really tried it was at the airport um, duty-free shops and then I tried it at Sephora in Dubai or somewhere but I just fell in love and afterwards I really got curious to try out some of the products uh, from this brand so this baby is also vegan and i love the packaging it is so luxurious look how beautiful it is i just like want it to put it on my vanity and when you first get the product it does not disappoint it's just so beautiful and the jar the whole experience is just is worth every cent. The best part about this product for me personally was um, number one, the texture. It does not feel like oil. When you first put it on your skin, it, it felt like oil, but the way that it soaks into your skin uh, the fastest and from the five oils that i did talk about today this one was the lightest and this is vegan friendly it has such a light texture it doesn't feel like oil i think if you are someone that wants to start using an oil but you're afraid of uh, oils because of their really oily texture i think this is something you want to check out um also it reminded me a lot of the clearest fundamental watery oil job because both of them they're super light it doesn't feel like oil and even the packaging was so similar you know so yeah it reminded me a lot of the watery uh fundamental watery oil drop and the smell is just beautiful this is like the first oil that i was like wow it smells so good Oh my gosh, uh, for me, it kind of smelled like a really luxurious baby powder, but in a very the best way possible. Like if you don't like baby powders, I don't think you're gonna like it. But for me, like I like baby powder scents, but it just smelled like a very luxurious version of that baby powder scent. This was like the very first oil that I was very 100% satisfied with the scent itself. The product does claim that it has natural scents of roses, but I think uh, maybe some people, yeah, 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 you can say that it does smell a bit like roses, but you know, my senses, my scent senses are kind of unique and weird. So yes, definitely if you are willing to try this and spend a little bit more of the mula mula, then it's okay. But if you want a cheaper or more affordable tubes, I would say please check out the Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drop as well. I feel like those two, the effects that you will see are very similar. Uh, maybe the experience can differ a little bit, but the texture wise and the way it felt on your skin will be very similar. And this has the brand signature powerhouse patent ingredients, as I mentioned in the beginning, um, including grapeseed, um, polyphenols, which protects against environmental aggression as well and it does have other ingredients that I like which is jojoba oil and sandalwood and prickly pear ingredients as well so the last two oils that I'm gonna be talking about today are rosehip oils and I have heard about rosehip oils over and over again not just from uh, my friends but from my unicorns as well I've read it so many times in the comments how it's amazing for your skin and that a lot of people really saw benefits for or their acne scars as well so I was always really interested in rose hip oils and I finally got to try this one this is from Trilogy I think I am saying that right hopefully Trilogy and this is a certified organic rose hip oil if you guys are a fan of my um, let's go skincare shopping videos where I go to Olive Young, Aritam or the offline um, shops in Seoul to check out the skincare products you guys would have seen me try this oil many times at Olive Young 
Young. This is like the number one oil at Olive Young and it's very, very popular in Olive Young. So in Korea, it's well known as the number one brand from New Zealand. If you're from New Zealand, let me know if that's true because, you know, I'm not really sure. Sometimes like brands market it in this way, but you find out that it's not or like they've, you know, maybe exaggerated a little bit. So I'm not sure, but let me know if you are from New Zealand. Um, but in Korea, it's really well known as the number one skincare brand. Um, this oil is really popular at Olive Young. And it is said that one of this oil is sold every 22 seconds globally. Right now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Someone has bought one of this oil. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, so I guess this is really sold a lot uh, globally all over the world. And I can kind of see why though. Ever since I started using this oil, it has been really good for my skin. Number one, it is really gentle on my skin and it is marketed that um, both mothers and babies, even babies can use this uh, oil. So this baby is organic, it's 100% rosehip oil. And as I mentioned before, rosehip oils is really well known to be amazing for skin because because it does contain powerful essential fatty acids that improves skin hydration, elasticity, and it really helps with skin cell renewal um, as well. So rosehip can be used for uh, reducing acne scars or even stretch marks, balancing and hydrating the skin, and is really amazing for fine lines and wrinkles. I've seen really good results with my tone improvement, and also I would say the hydration level. And this product specifically, uh, it was said that clinical trial results looked amazing. It said that hydration level improved 44%, uh, fine line improvement was 23%, and skin texture improvement was 21%. This oil was 30,713 won at Look Fantastic. And for the how-to, I loved using the oil itself, just a few drops of it on my skin. However, I loved using like two to three drops with my sleeping mask. It just felt so amazing on my skin. It soaked in so well with my sleeping mask, so it would make mix well together and my skin just felt amazing the next day. Now let's talk about the con. Okay, so number one, this smells horrible. This, I don't like the smell. I, I, no, I did not enjoy this smell. I don't want to smell it again because I know what I'm going to smell. <laughs> So the scent is not my favorite. Uh, however, that's one of the reasons why I love mixing it with my sleeping mask because that will just really mediate the you know bad scent. So it would it would feel pretty okay for me to be able to use. And um, I'm someone that I could suck it up. You know, if the product itself, if the formulation is good, the scent is really not important for me. Uh, but I do have to say that. The scent is not my favorite, but if you are used to smelling organic or natural um, rosehip oils, it's exactly what you're imagining. Another thing that I personally want to recommend is please use this during the nighttime only. You can use it during the daytime. However, this, when it's not fully soaked in your skin, it can get on your t-shirt and stuff like that. The color itself is a little bit of this kind of orangey yellow color. And when it's not fully soaked into your skin after you put it on, if you wear like a white uh, top or something, it can actually transfer to the white top. So I want to highly recommend that you use it for nighttime and when you do want to use it for daytime, please make sure that you fully soak it in or that you don't wear a white shirt just in case. So the next one is also a rose hip oil and this one is from Look Fantastic as well and it's the Pay Rose Hip Bio Regenerate Oil and I got it for about 37,800 won and this brand is an England vegan slash organic skincare brand that my friends highly recommended for me. As I I mentioned before um, rosehip oil is really well known for its effect for acne scars and that is the main reason why my friend highly recommended this product she said that she used this product um, in the beginning and nothing really happened except for the hydration level but she said after three months she saw such good results with her acne scars that would not disappear for the longest time and she's tried so many different products and even procedures at the dermatologist and she said that you do have to stick it out but if you do use it for about three months or so you will see great results with the acne scars so yeah i wanted to try this i will
was in the zone to try out new oil products and this might seem like I didn't use a lot but this is a lot because each time you use it, you don't use a whole lot of the amount of the oil. You only use two to three drops of it. So this product I've been using for about less than three months though, um, about, I, I would say maybe about um, eight weeks or seven weeks. So I do have to use it for a little bit of a longer time. Um, I haven't seen drastic results with acne scars yet, but I will definitely let you guys know because I'm going to continue to use this. Once again, this is a great product. However, let me talk about the cons first. First of all, it smells horrible like <laughs> scent is just really not my favorite oh my goodness has the exact same scent as this one so scent wise it's pretty strong and it doesn't smell that good and once again the color trends first like two white t-shirts and stuff like that so you have to be careful even in the directions it does tell you allow the oil to fully absorb before dressing so um you do have to make sure that everything is fully soaked in and i personally want to just recommend that you use it at night time so that you won't risk of getting it like on your you know t-shirt or anything like that and the interesting thing with this one is the directions did say for me to use it on damp skin after cleansing but personally i didn't use it like that i used it in my um step after my cream or i used it uh, within my cream or with my sleeping masks and it works beautifully that way this oil is 100 percent natural and it contains 99.8 percent organic rosehip also it has 100 percent of the natural vitamin e from sunflowers and as i mentioned before rosehip is effective at improving appearance of scars stretch marks um sun damage and even fine lines as well this oil is rich in concentrated trans retinoic acid an essential fuel for the skin's natural repair function as well it's free from paraben uh artificial scents or synthetic colors and i love that the packaging is a recyclable um glass bottle and this oil is recommended for all skin types including sensitive skin types or mature skin also with this one it is recommended for you to use with Within six months so you do have to use it diligently because most of the oils like the expiration date is six months and you do have to like use it like every single day or you have to use it like on other body parts for you to hurry up and use it up you know so just keep that in mind and the directions doesn't say it in here but when i checked the reviews and on websites it did recommend that don't use it on your lips and i'm not sure exactly why the reason is maybe um it's not good if, if it goes in our bodies because some oils it recommends you to use it on your lip area as well specifically but this one i did read some of the directions that said don't use it on your lips so please make sure to avoid your lips when you're using this one and just make sure that uh, you use it during the night time and if you do want to use it during the daytime make sure that everything is fully soaked in before you get dressed or um don't wear a white t-shirt when you're wearing this for the daytime so just keep in mind that these two <laughs> it doesn't smell as good but the reason why it made it to my top five oil category is that it does have really good effects but just be aware of the scent okay uh, and if you do use it with your cream or sleeping mask, it does kind of mediate and make it better, the, the scent wise. So yeah, I, I feel like personally, if you're not a huge fan of that oiliness or how uh, oils do feel, adding it with your cream stuff or sleeping masks or any other products just feels much, much better to start with. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in until the very end. Please like this video. It really means a lot to me and subscribe to my channel. And I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much and I know that right now for every single one of us it's a very difficult time and I know that a lot of people so many people have been affected by this virus not maybe directly but somehow yes you know within our lives uh, it may be emotional it may be physical it may be um, financial whatever it may be so I really just uh, want to pray for every single one of you out there and I want us to stay strong and let's endure this together. I've been trying to take this um, social distancing time um, really into a positive intake and just trying to see it in a really good and positive and grateful um, like way and um, while I was doing that uh, I feel like I can kind of reflect on myself and my life and while I'm doing that too I have the time to 
stay home and kind of you know pamper myself and take care of my skin i thought that this might be helpful for you guys so thank you guys so much and i will see you in the next one i love you my unicorns bye see you soon bye